there was a supervisor who used to go into his office and lock the door and cry at his desk because he was threatened to be killed. But because nobody takes action. True story. Threatened to be killed by who? By his employees. Oh. Because he was trying to make them do work. Gotcha. So they had a, a long stream, and I love giving out, calling out names that are great. Yeah. A long stream of supervisors in the NFA branch that turned that place around. Ken Houchins, uh, Ernie Lettner, they came in, and Ken Houchins was a division chief, and they just... It was about work and what we're supposed to, and they just worked and worked and worked. Mm. And then you had a guy named Steve Albro come in, and, and I can't remember all of them, but yeah. just it was just like a flood of professionals, one after the other. Because it's just like any other organization. You want to fill a job so long, then you want to take another job. Yeah. So these guys came in, they're fixing the NFA. And Scott Mendoza, another one, I remember these guys, and Amy Steely, and, and now they've they brought Steve Albro back. So now they're rotating, bringing these guys yeah. back. And now the NFA branch, find a complaint. You know what the complaint is on the internet? Well, God, we're getting our silencers back in, in, in four days. I wonder when we can get them down to one day. <laughs> when it used to be 120 <laughs> days, 18 months. Yeah. And now you're complaining about a week? Yeah. Yeah, I I haven't experienced that. But but but, it, but a little a little birdie once a little birdie once told me that it's because I did it through my trust and that if you do it individual now you'll get it back faster. I don't Individuals know. are yeah. faster. Okay. See, I didn't know that. I was still doing everything through because trust. There's more things to check in the trust. Mm, gotcha. And, and okay. okay, you're an attorney. Uh -huh. You write a trust and it's correct. How many of these knuckleheads you think download trust from the internet? Yeah. It's ninety percent of them. Yeah. And 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 what's fearful is. How many of these are going to be legal? Gotcha. Okay. When they start transferring them, so now so they have to almost go over it and analyze each trust to make sure every okay, which explains. So why. the trust gets come up comes up with the form, and and the analyst is looking at it. He's not an attorney. Yeah. So now he's got to take it to the gun attorney, and now they got to go through this and scrub it and make sure that it's okay. You know. So I mean, hell, even as an attorney, I had an attorney set up my trust so yeah. yeah and you always hear attorneys say that if you're yeah. an attorney have somebody else do it, do it yeah you, not may you know that you can never be penalized for your work yep yep no absolutely so the nfa is just a phenomenal branch now and a firearms operation division now you know how weird that is for me to hear that right I get what you're saying, and I understand it, and I agree, and I agree with you from the standpoint, yes, because I've gone through the time where it took me a year to get suppressors back, and to hear that they're coming back within weeks, kudos. I I, I have nothing but respect for that. So it's just it's just funny hearing it because you don't think about it. Yeah, you're like all of a sudden, how did this get fixed? Yeah, no, this is true. Yeah, and firearms operations program division, the one that used to be bad, mm. is ungodly good now yeah so you mean to tell me that before that when the things were when things were running really slow it was largely just people not wanting to work that's exactly right <laughs> this is the government you can't make them work so what's that quote that's like don't attribute to malice what can be explained by <laughs> by lack of incompetence or something like lack of competence or something to that extent what I, I was counseled um, i won't say several but on more than one occasion mm -hmm. or you know you jump in somebody's behind yeah and and i used a term once if you don't want to work here, why don't you find another job? When they counsel me, that language was used by a case agent in Fast and Furious, jumping in one of his agents, and they said you should have never used that language because they used it in Fast and Furious. One thing's for certain and two things are for sure. Politicians and tech giants don't want gun content to be recommended to you. And we're all fighting this culture war together. Now you can help do your part by liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel, but most importantly, sharing this video with at least one person. Together we can stop the suppression of our two-way rights. And don't forget to click the link in the description section of this video for the products that I mentioned in this video.